What up, though? It's your man, Lewis Automatic, checking in again. This time, we're going to do my impression and my take on the record I just watched. Um, well, it's the trailer for the record, uh, What It Feels Like. And that's the record that's going to be from the Judas and the Black Messiah film. Um, the, the record I just spoke of is a Jay-Z and Nipsey Hussle record. It's produced by Hit Boy. And, you know, What It Feels, actually, I'm sorry. What It Feels, that's the name of the record, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to mark the collaboration between Jay-Z and Nipsey Hussle. And, you know, um, this is interesting. This is an interesting topic because we know, um, unfortunately, Nipsey, he was murdered. Uh, I believe it was March 31st, 2019. And, um, you know, outside of his uh, store, the Marathon clothing store. And Nipsey, he... Um, he served as a, I would say, an entrepreneur and a revolutionary in hip-hop as, you know, he spoke for somebody who represented the independent game and served as an inspiration to somebody who could, through the long grind, who, who took the big picture approach, he was able to speak for the people. He, he, was, he was the people's champion. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, after his unfortunate and tragic death, a lot of people came and acted like he was their favorite or they really rock with Nip. But, you know, um, we know that Nip, he had an uphill battle because, you know, he was, he wasn't raging against the machine. Like, he was always cordial and respectful to the machine, but he worked as his own independent entity to, you know, have his own thing. So... In that sense, when you really look at it, his martyrdom. I'm not. I'm not equating him to Fred Hampton, but it's just um, like you know, like in black people, we deal a lot of times with symbolics and symbols, and symbolic victories or symbolic messages. You feel me? So in a sense, I feel like Nipsey was kind of juxtaposed to Fred Hampton in this, or maybe even I would say used. Perhaps in a good way and in a bad way. I mean, you have to understand, this is all commercial. You feel me? At the end of this, is all commercialization. So, people are going to monetize off your image in life and in death, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? One can only, that's why I'm a, I'm, a, uh, I'm reporting this with very in a very delicate, you know what I'm saying, manner. Because, you know, I can't cast aspersions, you know what I'm saying, on what anybody's true intention of use, utilizing, you know, Nipsey, I mean, at the end of the day, I can't speak on who was involved. You feel me? It's not my, it's really not my position to speak on who's involved because I'm not there. But just from the outside looking in, you know, um, and as a true Nipsey fan, you feel me? Before, you know, what I'm saying the tragedy, you feel me? Since 2009, when you know, um, hustling in the house first drop, I always took pride in being the person out of my circle who basically discovered him amongst us, and then we got hit to the bus and got no name, and you know. So forth, his legacy, you know what I'm saying, ensued since then. But, you know, um, with somebody of other caliber of Nipsey, you feel me, and what he stood for, you know, I feel that this movie, it's only right that, you know, um, somebody of his stature would be um, set in a soundtrack for a movie of this caliber. But you have to, have to understand, like, I have to, put, I have to bring this into the play. No Name, the female rapper No Name, who I believe she's from Chicago. And this Fred Hampton uh, situation, this movie takes place in um, Chicago. It took place in real life, I believe, in Chicago. And um, she, like, I believe she might have saw some advanced screening of it. And she actually decided to not be a part of the soundtrack for that reason. She felt that it didn't really represent what Fred Hampton was truly about. You feel me? She felt it more so um, was about the informant who infiltrated the Black Panther Party. And, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't really centralized about what their true cause and mission was as the Black Panthers, you feel me? But that was her interpretation of it. And, you know, anytime somebody, you know what I'm saying, foregoes financial gain for a political cause, I mean, there could, for a political cause, there's always, there, cause always, there's always a reason behind it, but, you know, that always has to make you think, okay, maybe this person, it always just gives the air of more credibility and validity to what they're standing on because they said no to the money and we all know that cash is king you know so and I, I believe it was with some of her group members or some people she was cool with so you know that's something to think about but I mean 
I can't really cast judgment because I haven't seen the movie, you know. Like and I, like I said, I'm just reacting off the uh, initial trailer. You feel me? And you know, I don't I don't want to say that it rang hollow or that it seemed cheap by any means, but you know, just the whole Jay Z Nipsey thing. You know, it's a ploy to get you know. J and people, you know what I'm saying, good graces, because at the end of the day, you can't say nothing bad about Nipsey, nobody gonna say nothing bad about Nipsey, and you know, Fred Hampton, you know, black people, we all, especially in these days and times, you feel me, we're gonna need something black, you know what I'm saying, that's speaking from what happened in our struggle here in America, you feel me, so it's like, we, you know, black people's gonna band behind that, so that's definitely a good ploy for Jay-Z to get back in a good space, you know what I'm saying, the song gotta be dope, which, you know what I'm saying, he, Jay-Z, you talking that black power shit that we gonna do it for Nip, you feel me, but, you know, even with the killing of Fran Hampton, the killing of Nip, you feel me, like, black people, we, we in the most fucked up position as we've been since, I don't know when, since the 60s or before then, since before segregation, you feel me, like, ain't no black businesses and black landowners, nowhere near how it was back then, you feel me, like, black marriage rates is below, like, plummeted, you feel me, been plummeted, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of shit that we need to get together. So it's like, so it's like you know, uh, Nipsey, he was a big part about, you know what I'm saying, bringing change to black people from a, you know what I'm saying, just from a hip-hop point of view. Like, you ain't never really seen a rapper, you know what I'm saying, stand on it like how he stood on it for how long he did, you feel me? And he was able to garner a lot of, you know what I'm saying, success and acclaim from it, so... You know, I just had to say that, you know what I'm saying? We just got to keep it going. Something does to keep it going, you feel me? The marathon continues. Louis Automatic signing out.